Here we go, from the poorest and blackest of people to survive in the streets of Mogadishu. It's K9, and I'm Hip Hop Official's Artist of the Week. And any man who knows a thing knows he knows not a damn, damn thing at all. And every time I felt the hurt and I felt the giving, getting me up off the wall. I was born and raised in Mogadishu, Somalia, which is the capital. The majority of my life there was incredibly peaceful and, and serene and beautiful. My grandfather was a, was a well-known poet. My auntie was uh, the most famous singer of my country. So in my house, there was always all this artists coming through and poets and playwrights and musicians. And those were the early influences of my life. Uh, when I was about 11, the war came which uh, changed everything around us drastically. We had to learn to be uh, tough and uh, you know, know how to handle a weapon and know how to properly discharge and clean a weapon. And so that was my, the, you know, the rest of my stay there, which is about an, another three years of, of intense war. And so I lived in it. Uh, that's not a very unique thing for Somalis. A lot of, a lot of people have gone through the experiences that I've gone through. Uh, the only difference is I wrote m music about it and in the English language, which I'm the, I guess I'm the first to do. La, 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 la. I was introduced to hip hop uh, through my father who lived in New York. He was a cab driver in Harlem. And uh, so he sent me some early recordings, like, uh, like Paid in Full by Eric B. and Rakim. I asked him, say, you know, these guys, they sound like, uh, like rhythm poets. He said, oh, that's called hip hop. I just memorized the, the rhyme ideas, the pattern, the way that they would say what they would say, really without knowing a word of English. So like, I came to the door, I said it before, I never let the mic magnetize me no more. I could do that as Rakim was doing it. I came in the door, I said it before, I never let the mic magnetize me no more. But it would take me years later until I came to New York and studied English to know what like door meant. When we were leaving Somalia, it was at the, at the height of the collapse of the country. We left under a very intense fighting in a difficult situation where our flight our, was the last Somali airlines to ever leave the country. We were very fortunate. You know, we left a lot of people behind. Uh, we came to New York and of course everything was different. The architecture, the language, the weather, everything like that. Uh, not to mention, of course, you weren't hearing artillery artillery fire like uh, every day. Yeah. In part two, Kanan talks about recording his new album Troubadour exclusively in the home of Bob Marley. Now Bob has a, in his house there's a couch that's like a sofa that's, wow. One of the most relaxing things you've ever slept on. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Everyone who's come I, t I, t I would tell him, just lay on that for a second. I don't know what's in that couch, <laughs> it's, but there's something in that couch. Hip, hip hop, hip, 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 hip hop official.